Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Darkest Fools mod. We are just going to keep on going from where we left off. Uh, we are poisoned, so we need to go cure that. We do have a ton of loot on us, so we want to go drop that off. And this episode, we're going to do the military facility. So hopefully... You see, I think the spiders came from all over. They were inside these rooms and they woke up. That's how it's supposed to be, this whole place. I really feel, guys, I am of the opinion, if you shoot a gun, the whole place has to come for you. That's how, that's how I feel it has to be. But yeah, um, I think all the spiders actually came for me because just look at this mess. All of this is broken open. All the zombies are gone. So yeah, but that's glass. Thank you. Um, The lights. Guys, I know I must wrench these as well, but they're not sometimes worth it. Sometimes they're really not worth it. I know there's scrap or rather there's clay outside. Oh, there's just a bag. Um, The thing is, we don't want to waste too much time on crappy stuff. We need to get to that military facility. I want to do that whole building this episode without any cliffhangers. So to be able to do that, I can't afford to loot everything and scrap everything right now. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the room. I think we were there last time when we got overrun with zombies. But at least we managed to survive. So that's a good thing. And there shouldn't be, like I said, any zombies left because all the zombies should have come for me about now. Scrap, scrap, scrap. That is yellow dye. Thank you. Uh, from over there, I thought there was something behind there, but it's a tree clipping through. I'm not a big fan of trees being able to clip through blocks like that. But then again, uh, they're going to have to make it so that if trees grow like that, they're going to have to destroy whatever's behind it. Wait, are we done? Okay, so this is not the POI I was thinking about. But still, it's a big one. Um, I'm going to make sure I got all the rooms. Hello, hello, hello. Just chilling over here in the corner. Imagine actually throwing the, uh, the TNT on accident. <laughs> and then before you can even pick it up, you close the door accidentally on you. So you explode yourself TNT just because you weren't careful. Okay, so all we have to do, we were already in the basement. We were already on top, so we did this whole place. Nice. Next up, we have to go do that farm. But like I said, guys, we can't do a farm if, we don't, if we're not prepared. So I'm going to make sure we drop everything, get uh, grab the anti-venom. There's no point in doing that up your eye if you're sick. If you're taking damage or you don't have enough stamina and a ton of demolishers chase you, you're screwed. The nice thing is with all the landmines in there, I can't set them off because my jumping ability is 5 out of 5. For those of you who don't know, parkour 5 out of 5 makes it so you can step on landmines without having to worry. You can literally, you, you can step on a ton of them and they won't do anything. Okay, uh, let's just see. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't want to accidentally do that. Uh, building supplies, miscellaneous. Yeah, that's food, food. Yeah, I need to drop this one. Thank you. Uh, that's miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, technically. And ammo. Please tell me we have anti-venom here. What do you need to make anti-venom again? Anti-venom. Oh, don't tell me you need the chemistry station because that means we're going to have to go all the way back. It says a first aid kit can cure you. Wait, what? It says over here, uh, if you read the animal poison thing, but the paramedic kit is guaranteed to... Oh, paramedic. Do we have a paramedic kit? Paramedic, paramedic, paramedic kit. No. Okay, so we have to go get the debuff. Damn it. Why did I leave my chemistry station? No, did I? Yeah, I did. It was in the other room. Damn. So I'm going to have to go back all the way to that town. At least we can go uh, grab stuff. But you guys, we need this anti-venom. We can't afford to face zombies when our stamina is running out constantly. Okay, scrap. Uh, do this. This is mods that go there. And boom. I, if I'm mistaken, we made a ton of anti-venom last time. So it has to be at the base. I'm going to be so mad if I get to that base. Having driven all the way back there and there's no anti-venom. But I could have sworn that there's definitely some there. So let's just quickly go get that. And then we need to get back here. So first off, north, west. Okay, let me, let me just mark it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Our bedroll's still there, so I just have to focus on the bedroll. Damn, this sucks. Having to drive all the way back. At least, like I said, now we can grab more stuff. Um, and I need to make sure we grab all the medical things we need. Because I want to be able to just pick up my bedroll and move. Only problem is if I pick up my bedroll... The zombies will respawn in that place. 
And if they respawn in that place, we're going to lose our loot. Because basically, we're going to have to clear out the whole PRI again when we get there to get the rest of the loot. Oh, I should have actually grabbed one of my... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cabinets? Uh, if I grabbed one of the ca cabinet storages, all I had to do then was place it outside, place the loot in there, and then we don't have to go inside to grab the loot again. I could just make chests, obviously, but there's so much loot, guys. We need a cabinet. Or two. And unfortunately, now I can't even make it when I get there because it's going to take a while to craft and we have all our workbenches at the other base. But first things first, as soon as we get to this PRI now, we have to pick up our chemistry station. <laughs> Someone actually commented on one of my videos, um, I should remove my face cam because me talking so much gives him anxiety. And guys, I'm actually an introvert. Uh, I'm anti-social introvert. I'm not re I don't really want for parties and stuff. Although I want to go to parties, I can't handle parties. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so for me, talking like this is actually a, it's a challenge. Um, I've been doing it for a few years, so it, it's, it gets easier. But still, I'm very anti-social. If, if you meet me in real life, I'm not really all that talkative. And that shocks a lot of people when they hear that. They think I'm joking. Oh, uh, there's some crops up here. Boom, boom, boom. All the corn's done. All the stuff's done. I wonder if I should just grab these now. Food's food, right? So if I grab all the stuff that says corn, these can regrow. I don't mind. I'm going to leave them here. And then later, if I need seeds, I'll just come back here and grab the seeds. Oh, yeah. I need to cure myself first. See, just a punch. When you're, when you're infected like this, when you're poisoned by an animal, just punching like this actually depletes your stamina crazily. It feels like I'm crouched, like I'm out of stamina uh, completely. So first off, let's just drink this cure. Please tell me we have a cure. I know I made some, so it has to be here. Medical? Anti-venom. Yes! Anti-venom. You to remove the animal poison debuff. There you go. So yeah, we'll grab all of that, just like that. Oh, uh, before I forget. I said we have to grab this chem station over here. Because I will forget, guys. I say I have to grab something that I completely forget about that something. It's weird though, it doesn't matter how far you are in game, it could be end game, you have all the skills unlocked, it still takes 15 seconds to dismantle something. You'd think if your mechanic or if there was an engineering skill, if your mechanic class is maxed and mastered, you'd be able to pick stuff up instantly. There's still forges over here, um, but I'm not going to take those forges now. Technically, if I could just break a hole through here, and I drop all my loot in here, all I have to do is uh, stack up on the side and then loot this place through the hole. But being able to actually precisely loot that is going to be the challenge. Okay, um, yeah. This, I wonder if you can scrap it for something. Because I can't sell it. I can't go to the trader and sell it. We can't talk to the trader. Every time I say that and people new to my video watches, they're like, why can't you talk to the trader? <laughs> it's a challenge, guys. I can't. I'm not allowed to talk to the trader. Okay, um, bowls. Yes, please and thank you. I should actually grab all the food. Because we're going to need to make ourselves proper food again soon. And then I need to make sure we grab all the food on top as well. Because that's a ton of potatoes right there. You know what? I'm just going to break this open. Since we're not going to be using this as a horde base. We can just run through here. And then voila, we're in front. Hello, 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 hello. Boom, dead. Okay, so we're going to drop food. Um, medical, medical. It's a lot of stuff that can basically stack. If something can stack, drop it in. Oh yeah. Do this, do this. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I need to eat something as well. Oh, chemist station can go in there. I need to actually eat because we are really, really low on food. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Cook sham. Cook sham. Okay, so at least it fills you instantly. That's nice. You don't have to wait for the effect like with vanilla. Okay, now we can just jump through here as well. Yes, but we're definitely going to do that farm uh, this episode. I just want to make sure we grab everything that's important. So we have food. We have most of the water. Clothes, dyes. I need to take all the black dye at least. We're going to need those for the master class books. Uh, tools. I want to scrap all of these because they're spare. If we scrap all of those, we actually stand a chance of getting a ton of iron without having to go mining for it. Uh, okay, we'll keep that for now. Ammo. I need to take this with me with a rocket launcher. It does block damage. It does a, quite a bit of block damage, actually. But it also does a ton of uh, damage to the zombies. So if I can loot that place, instead of taking a ton of 7.62 ammo and stuff with me, just take rockets with. 
Okay, we need this, this, at least a stack each of this. A stack, we have this, but we need all the oil at least. Do that, all these cards, boom, boom, boom. See, we're going to get encumbered again, so I need to really think about what we're grabbing right now. I can't afford to grab too many duplicates because we, we won't need them. Oh, we might need some assets, we'll grab that. Resources we don't need, plant fibers we do need though. But really, do we? If you think about it, guys, if I grab the flan fibers now, we can just get it from picking stuff up. Go outside, punch the floor, voila, flan fibers. Okay, now we do need some space over here. So if I do this, I want to be able to take a little bit of stuff with me. Of stuff, I mean, like quill. I need to be able to make quill ammo on the other side. Um, also, stock we need. Let's drop this one. We're going to grab these. At least we don't need gunpowder for quill ammo. I mean, it would be nice if we had, but you don't need it. Like, I think I heard a wolf out here, so I need to be careful when I'm jumping down. What's broken? I hate the smoke. This is a bug or something in the game. For some reason, it just smokes like that. So we're going to go drop all the stuff off at the base. And as soon as that's dropped off, we can go and do that military facility. If we can actually get everything done this episode, that would be awesome. And the thing is, I want to go guns blazing into that place, but it's not going to be possible. Um, guys, this is like a boss level building that we're going to do right now. So if we mess up, we die. Um, technically, you need like a few stacks of 7.62 ammo. Because uh, you're going to get... We're not high enough game stage to get like demon bosses. But even if we just get one or two demonic zombies. Or if we don't get those, this building is such high building. Such high um, game stage building. If you go through there now, you're going to get a ton of ferals. You're going to get swamped or swarmed. Okay, so I have everything dropped where it needs to be dropped. Over here, I actually made a few moves, guys. All the clothing, the dyes, everything like that is going to go over here for now. Because I needed the space inside of here. And I need to remember, this also has some dye on. Let's just take that off before I forget. Uh, do that. Um, I had one uh, top like this that was still like the jewel of purple. So I took that off. Put on my shirt. And now almost everything except the pants is purple. And obviously, we're going to go for our guns and tools as well. But that's for later. Yeah, now we can just go. Uh, we have everything we need. Food and water we're filled up on. Medical... You know, wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm going to keep this one here. But these ones I want to use during this uh, this expedition right now. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Technically, I should take the shotgun with me. Because we're going to need a lot of rounds. But during the horde, I want to be able to use some ammo as well. We do have sticks of dynamite over here. Everything's steel, so the dynamite will come in handy. But... Use one dynamite and all the zombies appear. So you don't want to use too much dynamite and then uh, screamers and stuff start showing up. Medical, farming, all that stuff's over here. Uh, let's see, that is maxed out. Okay, so we should be get ready to go. Over here is all the miscellaneous stuff. All our resources, everything. So that is going good, 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 good. Okay, guys, as soon as we have enough resources, I need to make this floor. The sooner we can actually make ourselves a proper base up here, the better. I want to be able to put all my uh, workstations down and just go from there. Now, this is going to be fun. Last time I was there, I died from bullshit reasons. Like, well, if a, if a landmine explodes, guys, from a zombie, and you're close enough to it, you do take damage. But last time, like, a zombie was far away, and the landmine exploded, I'm done. I was gone. The nice thing now is, with our ability, we can walk over landmines, so we can go right up to the zombie, quickly kill it before it has a chance to move, and then, voila. Hello, hello, hello. As long as there's no dog, we should be okay. I want to see if I can't quickly snipe the zombies and the spiders and stuff from up here. If I can just use this gun, this is going to make a ton of noise. But at least if I can clear out all the zombies, I won't have to worry downstairs. Because the, the ferals or the tough zombies are inside this place. Yep, there's one zombie down. But yeah, the most of the zombies spawn underneath over here. Or they spawn on this ground over here. But look at this. I can walk over landmine. No problem. The big bosses are going to be underneath where I am right now. The easiest way to actually go for them, guys, is just break down the floor. Go for the ladders. Go each room on its own and then go from there. It's going to actually help me if I go for the bottoms first. So I'm going to make sure we kill out all these zombies. We'll clear out. Kill out. <laughs> yeah, but basically, we have to clear out all the zombies over here and then we go downstairs to where they are. 
If we can clear out the, uh, the, these bottoms over here, by the time we go for the final stash, we're not going to die. The moment if we go for the final stash, we're definitely going to die. All these rooms will come for us. Booyah! Oh, I love this gun. I really love this gun. Okay, there's a crawler right there. There's a tough zombie right there. Oh, that was Feral that did not die just now. Imagine you can actually wallbang. Shoot right through a block and hit a zombie, but I don't think that's... Well, it might be possible. I have no idea how the ammo uh, moves through blocks. Okay, and then you... Bye-bye. So I'm, I'm actually wasting a ton of ammo right now, guys, but I need to clear out all these over here first. Down there, that's where all the, um, the bosses are going to be. Oh, crap. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. What's down here? Look at my game stage, is still not high enough. We get bosses. So technically, I can just do this. There should be a ton of bosses over here, but for some reason, I'm not getting bosses. Okay, I'm not going to complain. I should definitely not complain right now. Usually, there's a ton of demolishers in here, but I'm, I'm just guessing the next floor that I go into, this one over here, for example. We'll definitely have some bosses. Okay, that's a soldier. Okay, if I can just stand on this guy, I'm, I might be able to do some proper headshots. Ooh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake, John. Damn it. Oh, that was a big accident just now. Oh, okay. Be careful that you don't accidentally shoot him, John. Well, you're supposed to shoot him, but that was that was a bad my bad. But I need to make sure where's the ladder on the side. This is the ladder, right? Okay, so one block in. Don't waste time breaking the block on the outside. Where's the ladder? It's over here. I could have sworn that was not the case, but oh well. But look, guys, if we can clear these bottom silos quickly. It's going to help us tremendously. What the hell? Like, I'm definitely destroying the wrong block the whole time. But yeah, the demolishers are the biggest problem for us right now. So if we can kill them quickly, we'll be able to go through this place, get all the final stash loot. Voila, easy, no problem at all. Uh, okay, let's just quickly make sure we can actually get out of here. What the hell's going on? Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to have to destroy this one. Do this. Or do this. Okay, now I can't get out. See, that's a BS reason right there. Okay, so I'm just going to do this quickly. Scrap, scrap, scrap. What do you need for a ladder again? Wooden ladder. There you go. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't see where the ladder was. I thought I was destroying the block, uh, but you just need to place a frame right here. Uh, yeah, one more. Just one more. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to get stuck and have to jump out. I want to be able to just run out. Although, if you do what I'm doing right now, guys, if you leave this block over here, the zombies can't get out, so it's going to be easier for you to kill them. Spawn in, please. There are so many barrels down here. You need to be careful. There you go. Let me just quickly get the gas over here. I'm making a ton of noise right now, but at least the boss zombies, if they come for me right now, they have to break through a few things to get to me. Boom, boom. But yeah, guys, you just have to go down there. That's the final stash room over there. But I want to go the proper way. So first, we want to make sure these silos are cleared of zombies. We did this one. We did this one. We accidentally did this one. Wait, did we? I think we did... Oh, wow. There's loot over here. Uh, we did this one accidentally, right? There was a fat guy over here and the skinny guy. Okay, cool. Now we go up. I didn't even realize there was actually loot. Look at this. You can actually see there's a panel over here. There's loot underneath over here, but it's really not that necessary for me at the moment. Hello, hello, hello. I want to make sure we get all the sleepers first. All these guys just chilling up here that can actually get us while we're not looking. I want to make sure we kill them, not the landmines. Because if the landmines get them, we don't get the XP. You do need to watch out for the uh, spiders or for the snakes, though. Okay, there's a snake to my side over here. 
Boom. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna walk right past a zombie, not realize it, and then the zombie steps on landmine. Because that's the only way I'm gonna take damage right now if a zombie steps on a landmine. Okay, I think we cleared out all the zombies on the sides of here, so now we just have to go through the bottom. Hello? But there's a uh, demolisher over here somewhere. Okay, uh, yeah, we have to be careful right now. They're gonna step on the landmines. And if they do this close to us, we'll take damage. Oh wow, you're barely taking any damage of you. Oh no, you are taking damage. I thought he wasn't taking any damage because he's a soldier right now. Come on. Oh, I'm out of ammo on this one. That kind of sucks. So this one... We need to make sure we don't accidentally hit the switch. Because I keep doing that. Come on, I'm running out of all my ammos. I wonder if I shouldn't just blow him up. It's going to be much easier. Come on. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's, let's blow them up. We're going to make them run over landmines. Unfortunately, we don't get the XP for that. Technically, we just assisted the landmines, but we're not going to get anything for that. Okay, guys, now we have a problem. Uh, yeah, we only have melee. There's bound to be more demolishers over here, so that's going to be a problem. Oh, wow. This is not doing any damage at all. Uh, let's see this. Oh, that does some damage. What a shocking revelation. Pardon the pun. Okay, so there's definitely still a snake in here. I hope all the zombies woke up. Oh, wait, did we do the last room? I don't think so, right? This last room of here is going to determine whether we survive this or not. Especially now, so we don't have ammo. I should have brought my shotgun. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? I brought my... Uh, I brought my rocket launcher, right? So if we get in a tough spot, we just use the rocket launcher. Now the problem is going to be this. You know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be able to get to safety before they notice I'm here. Okay, now I'm going to face them one at a time over here. Yeah, climb up, climb up. Uh, I don't want them destroying the... What do you call that? There's a gas... Thing over there. It's just these two, so technically I can just do this. Make sure there's no zombies waiting for me over there. As long as this thing doesn't break, this is my salvation right now. Uh, knife. Ooh, kind of to take hits from this guy. He's muted soldier, so he's tougher. Okay, now we're gonna have to go down the main hallway, which is gonna suck. We need ammo. We seriously need ammo right now, and we have none. Okay, so now we go down the main passage and hopefully don't die. Wait, why am I so slow? Remember that? I thought I was crouched, but I wasn't. Okay, so there's still a snake in here somewhere. Hopefully there's no ferals in here. Hello? Where's this? Oh, there's a snake. I don't want to get poisoned by a snake right now. Oh, crap. I just realized I'm out of stamina. This thing has a recoil like crazy. Damn. Why is my stamina not coming back? Oh, wow. This thing's aim is really bad. You can see how I just panicked. But for some reason... Oh, grenades. There you go. Oh, wait. Why am I struggling so much? I have this gun. I completely forgot about my quill gun. Obviously, you don't want to waste the quill rounds right now. Oh, look at that. Two shots done. I completely forgot that I had the quill gun just now. Okay. Um, I think a few of you are actually shouting at the screen. Why don't you just use the quill gun? But yeah, my stamina really took a hit just now. Okay, so that knee is bandaged. But I'm really worried about my stamina. I know I was using it to a few power attacks just now, but guys, damn. It goes to show I'm so used to the knife that I'm not really paying attention to how much stamina the stamatons doing. 
Okay, so, uh, to save time, we're just gonna do this. I think it's five shots to do this. Reload, and put this one, loot. Put this one, scrap, scrap. I wanna make sure we scrap. Oh yeah, these we need to scrap for the pieces. Uh, basically, if you don't, I don't know, I need to get the hazmat, um, scrap. Uh, to be able to make myself add-ons for the wasteland. So the more of these we get right now, the better for us. Now, um, do we break through? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. That's 2.5. That's 7. So it's going to be faster breaking through here. Although, what you can do is you can break through the, the, the silos we just cleared out. You can break through there. Like I have grenades. I need to use them. I must not forget my grenades. We have now a quail pistol. I should actually quickly do this first. Modify. We're going to take a few of these things off and put it on the pistol. I want to see what, what goes on it and what doesn't. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this one back there. Put it down there to save some space and drink. Now our quail pistol is going to be our strongest pistol for now. Or strongest weapon. I just hope I don't use all the ammo for normal zombies and then come across a demonic zombie and I can't kill it. We need as much ammo as possible, quail ammo, to be able to make sure, okay, we can kill any demonic zombie we come across. Can I shoot through? Yes. I need to make sure I kill all the sleeper zombies before I keep going down. See, last time we had a demonic zombie down there, there's a ton of soldiers right now. Where's this one's head? Where are you going? Oh! Oh no, now he's gonna come back from the behind. Okay, so I should either use... Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Um, I'm gonna use my grenades to wake a few zombies up right now. At least that floor hasn't spawned yet, so all the noise I'm making right now doesn't matter. Now we turn off this light. And guys, this is where the nightmare starts. Look at this. Oh crap. Run, 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 run. Okay, so what I'm going to do is throw a few of these there. And then... Work, please work, please work. How much XP did I just get? Quite a bit, right? I hope. Now I have to kill this guy without dying. Okay, I'm actually going to set him off. Come on, Jean. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm trying to hit his switch. I'm quite not quite Ah there you go. I need to be careful because I can still take damage from that one. For those of you who don't know, the switch on these guys or the, the demolishers, especially the radiated ones, have an insane blast radius. So if you're not careful, you're gonna die. Uh let me just not waste ammo right now. Please don't tell me we're gonna come across a demonic zombie. Yeah, all the zombies. Unfortunately that soldier if that soldier didn't see me. I could have thrown um, TNT down here with the zombies. And I would have been able to do some more sneak damage. So I should really actually also make it so if a screamer comes, she can't follow me. Okay. Zombies? There's definitely a few zombies in over here. Okay, reload, Jean. Guys, I need to save my ammo. I'm wasting too much. This gun is really awesome, but I haven't put a single point into the pistol yet. Let me just do this. Okay, uh, what I wanted to do, though, I thought this was a door that I could close. If it was a door that I could close, I could just make sure that I... Oh, the zombies are try definitely trying to get into me. They shouldn't be able to reach me because there's still that one um, bar that they have to break through. Okay, yeah, you guys come over here. I'm going to help you out, actually. And then I need to shoot the hell out of you. It's a shame I don't have any... Oh, I have a rocket launcher. But like I said, I don't want to make too much noise over here. Okay, nice. Look at all the scrap polymers over there. Okay, uh, do this. Do that. Thank you. So that door we need, still, still need to go through. I'm just going to do that. But I'm not confused as to what I still need to do and uh, not do. Okay, and then now we are on our own. Guys, this isn't even the final stash. There's some really good loot over here, but this is not the final stash. The final stash is actually going to be like a ton of boxes and stuff. Okay, while I'm down here, I just, I'm going to have to repair my tool right now. I'm going to do this with all of this. 
The room on that side where we just killed the businessman, that's where there's a ton, and I mean like a ton of scrap polymers and um, mechanical parts. Already 69 just from the small room. Okay, we don't get any electrical parts from these, unfortunately, so that's going to stop climbing. I actually like watching this, uh, the number on the side just jump up. I need to be careful that no zombies break through this room. Did I close that door? Yes. So at least we'll be able to hear if a zombie comes through. Uh, oh, I still can't left click this. You can actually hear there's a ton of noise outside, which means either the bottom floor has woken up now. Because as you guys saw with the silos, this was always going down. There's another room in there that you have to clear out. And when you clear that place out, then you can say you've done. But yeah, that room's going to have a ton of demolishers and stuff as well. So that's why I'm saving my rockets right now. Okay, that's blue dye. I need to keep that. I do have TNT that we can use as well. Although I don't really want to use my TNT. But the TNT is going to do way too much damage to this place. And there's a chance that it destroys my loot. And if I lose loot, that's going to suck. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that door's closed. Oh, let me just do this. Yeah, but that door's closed. That's awesome. Although, I think I should actually put my um, Lucky Looter goggles... I should take that off. Because at the moment, I'm losing XP. I'm breaking so many things. So, I think what I'm going to do quickly, guys, is I'm going to cut away. I'm going to break open all of these things over here. It's almost night time, so the zombies are going to be faster. And I'm going to break out apart all of the stuff over here. And then I'm going to break that open. And then we're going to loot the safe together. So, see you guys as soon as I'm done with the whole room. Okay, guys. I'm really scared right now. There's a ton of noise outside. There's like way too much noise outside, so we're going to be overrun really, really soon. I wonder if I shouldn't keep my rocket launcher on me just in case. Um, there's scream hordes, normal hordes. There's just way too many zombies over here right now. Where are all these zombies? I hear them, but I can't see them. Okay, we're going to pick this up. We need to keep on going down. Things are right above me, actually. Oh, they're trying to break in over here. Hello, hello, hello. Come on over here quickly. If I can see the screamer quickly, I can kill her. Wait, are you killing me? Is that, is that all? I know that screamer is still somewhere over here. But see, they have to break through both these uh, plates over here before they can get to me. Hopefully, that's the only way they can get to me. Uh, they can always fall into those rooms that we're about to go to. And that's going to be a problem for us. But for now, we should be safe. Okay, um... Let's do this. I don't need to shock as much as I need this gun to protect me right now. And I need to be careful. If I see any smoke rising up from zombies, I need to move. Because then we know we're already getting demonic zombies. Last time, this guy underneath us was a demonic zombie. This time, at least he's just a normal hazmat. So, yay. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, I love... You know what? This could actually be a nice defense because they have to walk up the stairs, right? So, what, as they peek their head, you can just shoot at their head. Obviously, you can accidentally do some serious block damage to unnecessary blocks. And now we need to be careful. We're now on the ground floor where all the loot is. As soon as we round that corner, guys, there's going to be so many zombies. So I want to see if we can't throw a few grenades. And then before they go off, we need to place our tower down. This is going to be hectic. Okay, uh, let's just see. I need to make some space quickly. Otherwise, this is definitely not going to work out for me. Scrap, 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 scrap. Um, modify, do this. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Whew, I'm actually getting chills right now. Just knowing what's going to happen. Okay, so this one's reloaded. This one's reloaded. This one's reloaded. And we have a few rockets over here. I wonder if I shouldn't do this. It's going to give me a chance to just quickly jump over. Or crouch and jump over. And then I can place my turret down. Because guys, as soon as we turn this corner, there's going to be a ton of zombies. Shouldn't even be picking up. Anyway, I'm going to turn off the light. I know it's a little bit dark for you guys. I need to do this because I need to make sure that I can run away while the zombies break through all this stuff. A real soldier over here. Yeah, please tell me I can kill this dude. I just woke all of them up, didn't I? At least they have to break through that door, so that's a good thing. I didn't know there was a door. I think that's new. Last time I was here, there was definitely, uh, there was definitely not a door over there. Okay, so if I can open up this door, it one zombie through at a time. 
Nice thing is if I'm killing a zombie here, it doesn't affect the zombies in there. Okay, check left and right. Now there's a guy right over there. Let's just quickly kill him. him. Guys, th this is all the doors that we uh, look down the silos from. I need to walk so slowly right now because if there's a zombie all of a sudden spawning in, I need to run. All the zombies should show already. But you never know for late spawns. I swear, if there's a late spawn and I'm all the way over here, that's going to suck. Yes. Okay, so we are safe for now. Let's just quickly do this. I should close that door, actually, because there might come zombies that we're not expecting right now. Okay, yes. Three rounds. Um, hopefully some 7.62 ammo. I need way more 7.62 ammo. But if we can just get a ton of re uh, breach rounds, we'll be set for a while. But see, the screamers can technically still come down the hallways and bash on these doors. Because if you open this up, that leads to those doors over there. So instead of going through the whole place again, all we need to do is jump up those ladders. And we're out. The problem is, as we're doing that, the zombies will try and get to us. Nice. I'm just glad when our oh, game stage isn't too high this time. I'm so used to always going for the hardest of difficulties. That when it's easy like this, I feel like, oh wow. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to turn off the light. We're gonna wear our night vision goggles. Now we have all our loot, so we don't have to worry too much. Let's just do this. We're gonna put this one on. Then this one on. We need to make sure we turn off our helmet light mod. The nice thing is we can see. Look at this. If we just do this, without the lights, we can see clearly. It's bright red. But guys, we just got some awesome loot. That was, that was well worth it, I think. It was a little bit slow. Um, I really didn't think there was going to be that much resistance. But those zombies just all of a sudden popping out of nowhere really surprised me. So, other than that, we did really, really well just now. See, now I can actually go out this way or the other way. The screamers shouldn't be able to see me because it's dark over here. And since I have my night vision on, I can see them. They can't see me. What was that? That was just a normal zombie. Hello? As long as we don't attract the zombies, we should be fine. But we might just actually attract the attention of a screamer accidentally. Because the screamer is up there somewhere. So guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call an episode here. I'm just going to run straight back to the base past all the zombies if they were to spawn. And the next episode, we're going to loot the rest of these buildings. So we're going to make sure we loot all of these first. It's not just going to be the outskirts, basically, because we'll really loot this one. Technically, we could do the outskirts. But what I want to do, that's a factory over there. Oh, I should go do the factory. There might be a ton of resources over there. But what I should actually do is the, the outskirts plus these two blocks. Outskirts, two blocks. Because then it's just the middle of the town left over here. But yeah, now I just need to get back to that. So if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.